today i am uh, going to discuss the bfs algorithm that is bread first search algorithm in the last lecture we talked about what is traversing and uh, the first approach that is a depth first search approach for the traversing so as we know that in dfs we go in depth we select a path and we go in depth but in bfs what we do we start from a node and we cover all the adjacent node from that node so in one go we will cover in breadth so that's why its name is breadth for search so as i said that uh, search for all the vertices that are directly reachable from the root and we will call level 1 vertices after mark all these vertices means uh, after covering all these vertices visit all vertices that are directly reachable from any level 1 vertices that is we will call level 2 vertices that means all the adjacent node will be covered and then we will select any one from all those uh, adjacent vertices and then we will cover all the adjacent node of these level 1 vertices one by one so this will go and uh, at last all the vertices will be covered so uh in general level k vertices are directly reachable from a level k minus 1 vertices we will use a coloring scheme uh, just like we used in dfs that is white vertices means nodes have not been covered gray color will show that uh, vertices are discovered but not fully explored that means they may have some adjacent node having color white and the third color black will show that uh, this node has been discovered and fully explored that means nothing is pending for that node so the color is coloring scheme is same as we discussed in dfs okay so this is the algorithm bfs algorithm in bfs algorithm we start from the source node so that's why the input will be the graph g that is vertex set and edge set and the source vertex of that graph so first step that is initialization step except uh, source vertex s we will initialize color white the discover time du infinity and the predecessor that is parent of that node is nil so this is the initialization so we will do for all vertex vertices except source vertex and the color of source vertex will be gray discover time zero and predecessor nil we will take a empty queue and uh, this is the basically the data structure queue data structure we have already discussed this so basically we will use this distance as a priority so basically you can see it as a priority queue so third step this vertex s will be inserted that is in queue in this queue and the fourth step jab tak ye queue empty nahi ho, ja ho jata that is the condition in this while loop is queue not empty जब तक क्यू एम टी नहीं है दिस लूप विल बी एक्सिक्यूटेड एंड इन ईच इटरेशन वट वी आर डूइंग वी आर डिलीटिंग अ नोड फ्रॉम दिस क्यू 
so u is equal to dq from this u dq means this is a deletion operation of a single node from this q and all the adjacent node all the adjacent node of this deleted node u what we will do if color is white then we will set its color as a gray discover time we set the discover time of u plus 1 and this u will be the predecessor or parent of this adjacent node v and we will enqueue this adjacent node v in the queue so this will be done for the each vertex for each vertex adjacent node of this deleted node u and after completion of this task the work has been finished so that's why we set the color of u as a black so this is the basic algorithm and after uh, this q empty it means all the nodes has been covered all the nodes we have traversed okay so this is the simple bfs algorithm now we will take a example here uh you can see that uh, we have uh, r s t u v w x and y these are the vertices these are the vertices so suppose the source vertex is s then we will start from here this is the initialization part first step all the vertices the color is white discover time humne set kiya hai infinity you can see algorithm discover time infinity and predecessor name and the source vertex ka color gray and discover time zero so this is the initialization humne kya kiya second step apply kiya so this source vertex is its distance is zero and uh, the color is gray so here you can see we will third step in queue this source vertex in the queue so we have inserted this s in this queue now we fourth step we have a loop we will delete a one node from this queue and we will cover it so you can see this source node as we have we if, if we delete then we have two adjacent node r and w so we will cover both node as we can see its color is white then we will set its color gray and discover time 0 plus 1 that is 1 and after that we will uh, set its color of s as a black so r and w color become gray discover time plus 1 that is 1 and 1 and the color of s become black and after that we will enqueue this adjacent node these adjacent node r and w so suppose we insert it uh, in this fashion now after that uh, suppose a uh, w was inserted firstly here you can see so we will we will delete w here and its adjacent node we can see t and x so next level this t and x will be covered color become gray discover time 1 plus 1 that is 2 and uh, its color become black now r will be deleted from here r will be deleted so we deleted r 
we have uh, one second yes this r have one adjacent node having color white so when we will delete r its adjacent node v will be traversed so we deleted r color of v become one the discover time of r is one so one plus one two its color become uh, gray and uh, then v will be inserted in the queue now t will be deleted next we have in the queue you know in the queue first in first out so that's why t will be deleted now t deleted and uh, the adjacent node of t we have uh, in previous node you can see already x is gray so we have only one adjacent node having color white so its color become gray 2 plus 1 it become 3 and uh, u will be inserted in the queue next node we will delete uh, and its color become black now now x will be deleted you can see x have again a one adjacent node having color white so y ka color hamara gray ho jayega and discord time will be 2 plus 1 3 so you can see 3 and becomes gray and y will be inserted in the queue now again uh, if we in, uh, delete this uh, v if we delete this v then uh, after deletion of v you can see no adjacent node we have having color white so it's simply deleted and become black again u will be deleted and uh, no adjacent node we have with white color so it becomes simply black and after that y will be deleted and uh, no adjacent node with the white color so it becomes simply black so now q is empty so this uh, operation will be terminated and you can see that all the nodes have been covered so this is all about the bfs algorithm and if you talk about the complexity so you can see that queuing time will require the number of node in the graph and uh, for each node we maximum we may require scanning all old ases so that's why the total running time will be v plus e so overhead for initialization you know that uh, ov so but it will be in this ov plus e so the running time is this one so enough for today in the next lecture i will talk about the minimum spanning tree thank you